Hey, Justin here with Jelly Space. Today, we're gonna install a new focuser. This is a Crayford focuser. It's got a, uh, a coarse adjustment, which is nice and silky smooth, and then a fine adjustment, which is a one to 10 ratio, and this is super smooth. You need like feather touch to get it to move. Not to be mistaken with the feather touch focuser, but you get the idea. Doesn't take much to move this, so you can just barely touch it without wiggling or upsetting the telescope. Uh, the reason I'm upgrading is uh, the older focuser is getting a little um, excessive play. Uh, even if you do adjust it out with a heavy eyepiece or camera, it easily just falls back in. So this will have a little bit more strength to it. Has um, a lower profile as well, which should allow me to get my DSLR camera into what they call prime focus. This one that sticks out too far and it will not get close enough into the uh, secondary mirror to achieve focus. So this should help that and all around just be a little bit more uh, pleasure to use as far as getting things into fine focus uh, whenever I put on the Batnov mask to get a good focus on the stars. So I got this off of First Light Optics. Um, it does uh, have a lower profile, but it does extend out for visual astronomy, uh, so you can continue using your eyepieces. It does have a inch and a quarter adapter, so it does allow you to use inch and a quarter eyepieces as well as a standard two inch. Uh, pretty much going to plan on using this for astrophotography moving forward, but I do still use that telescope um, quite frequently for visual uh, observation, so I kind of like having the best of both worlds. Uh, so that's kind of the idea behind it. As far as hardware that will be needed, I did need to go buy some additional hardware. The stock bolts that are on the telescope are only uh, half of an inch, so I had to go to three quarter inch uh, to accommodate for this uh, plate being a little bit thicker. Um, we are going to have to put some foam here to help block out the light uh, from shining through because once you uh, whoop. Once you extend this focuser out, uh, there will be no obstruction inside the optical tube, so any stray light could actually get in there and kind of mess things up. So, we're going to go ahead and get started with all of that. Okay, so we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. We're going to take out these bolts right here. There's four of them in all the corners, and on the back side, in the tube, you want to make sure you have it angled down and on a flat surface because you don't want to drop the hardware to the very back and hit the mirror, or you don't want to have the eye, the uh, focuser straight up where these nuts will fall and hit the, the secondary. So there's the nuts right here. Maybe you can see them, but I'm going to just hold my finger there because they're not very tight and hold that nut and then take it out. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started with that. Just make sure not to, uh, try not to touch the uh, spiders, which are the things that hold your secondary, or the secondary mirror itself, so you don't get any smudges on it. The uh, tool I'm using is a iFixit screwdriver set, and I actually really enjoy it. It's been a great little tool purchase. Comes with pretty much everything I need to work on, telescopes and smaller items. All right, so there's our primary focuser. You can kind of talk, uh, see the uh, slop I was talking about, and it's just a little bit of weight. We'll push it in so it's it gets out of focus pretty easy. Okay, so we're now we're gonna go ahead and put on the new fancy pants focuser. Um, I did have to buy, as I stated, some longer longer screws. Uh, three quarter of an inch versus a half inch and then uh, of course the appropriate uh, nuts to go with it um, so that was like six bucks not a big deal at the hardware store down the street so I'm gonna go ahead and get this first bolt it's very close and at first I thought I was gonna have to take the um, 
this pinion system off, but it actually will go in there just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get both of those in there and kind of hang them right there. And just kind of let that hang there. Get the other two in. I'm going to stay them up to get a piece of foam or something, which I will have to get later. Something appropriate to go inside that crack to fill it up so that the light's not bleeding through. But for now, we're just going to roll with what we got so we can appreciate the new focuser tonight when we use it for the first time. So we're we'll shooting some targets. And they don't have to be crazy tight, just oomph. If you find it's loosening up later, then maybe a little bit tighter than that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull the focuser out so that I can clear the obstruction to get my hand back there a little easier. Uh, where the, the tube of the focuser sticks down a little bit, it can obstruct my getting to the bolt. So I just run the focuser up a little bit to get that obstruction out of the way. All right, all done with that. Now I'm going to go ahead and take out our little adapter and look down the center and make sure that I can still see down the center of the primary. And if you're looking dead down the center, you should be able to see that alignment mark on the primary mirror. Actually looks pretty good. So next up is to uh, test it out in the field. All right, so now we're going to test it out. We got it all installed. It feels fantastic. Um, so I just want to put the heaviest optical pieces that I have in here, which is a 2.5 Barlow, and then this giant uh, two inch 38 millimeter ultra wide angle lens. Um, this is a chunk. I will tighten that up. And you can see the scope's moving, but that eyepiece didn't move. And then, man, with that fine focus. Man, that's going to be awesome. All right, guys. Well, we'll have uh, more videos here soon, uh, more about astrophotography. We are going to do one about eyepieces because i got some kind of opinions about that. I don't think you need as many as you think you need. You just need, like, a couple good ones and a Barlow. All right. Well, we'll talk to you next time. Take care, guys. Thank you.